So right now I have my octopus Kraken, and right now he's in the shell with a ghost shrimp, a feeder guppy, and a little piece of frozen shrimp. We're gonna see if he eats it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, look, look, look. <laughs> yeah, he loves this stuff. Oh no, the ghost shrimp just hopped right out. Got him back, and we're gonna put him back. Ooh. Oh, and he's going right for it. <laughs> what? Did the thing just jump out What's again? Hey. Don't jump out again. I have the net. <laughs> there oh, go. there you go. If you look closely, that little fish back there, he still hasn't fully eaten it. He right now has three things in his mouth. Right now, that feeder guppy right there, it jumped out and now he just got caught again. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna feed him another one of these little feeder guppies, see if he goes for it. Can he go for it? Oh, he has it under his tentacle. Can we go for it? I don't know. Oh, yep, he got him. <laughs> right under the beak it goes. If you look right over there, you see him blowing out a little current of water. That's called a siphon tube, which he uses it to breathe and blow out ink to get away from predators. Now, he has the ghost shrimp under one tentacle, and this other little feeder guppy trying to swimming around, and now he just got caught. He doesn't really know what he's doing with all of it. So right now, we're trying to train him to eat from the shell, so that way it's easier for him to try and eat his food for right now. That ghost shrimp has jumped out, I don't even know how many times. This breed of octopus is called an abdopus, but the English version for it is algae octopus. He gets his name because he uses his tentacles and kind of curls them up, which makes him imitate algae or other plants. Here's a picture of what they look like in the wild. Now I'm gonna put him back and I'm gonna let him find the food on his own.